namaste scorpio welcome back welcome if you're new i see the god in you yes welcome back i am so foolish girl i'm so happy to be back doing your zodiac sign this is a love reading we're gonna get straight into it stay tuned to the end because we have some juicy intimate questions for clarity so the first one is what does the person on your mind want to say to you? What do they want to say to you right now? This could be something that they've already said. This could be something that you intuitively feel or this is something that they're going to say. Okay? So let's see. What do they want to say? You didn't put up with my shit. You crushed my big ass ego, but that's what made me respect you even more. So, okay. Okay, Scorpio, I see you out here. Um, crushing egos. Sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself and like, you just gotta put people in their place, especially a significant other. Sometimes, especially if it's a masculine, even if it's a feminine energy, I'm just saying like, <laughs> whoever your person is, yeah, you put them in their place. What else do they want to say? I'm going cre I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. So maybe you're not around this person. Maybe they aren't able to see you. If you are around this person quite often, it could just be that they like they like seeing you. I don't know. So they want to see more of you is what they want to say let's see what else they want to see you so i don't know maybe you have a demure style maybe you don't put yourself out there as much they want to see you maybe they can want to see photos of you online or they just want to be in your area let's see let's see. we're gonna get two more scorpio don't forget to press like if you like this. It really helps me when you do that. This person has a lot to say. I feel like you make this person nervous. You got this person feeling shaky when they interact with you. So you can see, find them maybe dropping things when they're in your presence. Let's see what else do they want to say. I'm at a, I'm at a crossroads. Oh my goodness. I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this? Or move on relationships are a lot of work being single is easier okay so you could just be dealing with someone who has some sort of commitment issues it's hard for them um their relationships they they're they're clearly feeling like relationships are hard for them i'm i'm getting a fear of commitment i'm getting fear of commitment issues so they're at a crossroads i feel like when it comes to you in this relationship if you guys have been getting into it or the communication is kind of shaky baby whatever it is you did put them in their place so they know that they need to step up Ooh, okay um, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. That just flew out. That might not be for you. If that's for you, take that if it resonates, okay? Let's get one more for Scorpio. Maybe you had to tell them. Maybe they have an overbearing mother. Maybe you had to put up some boundaries in their, with their family or even their friends because sometimes people's friends can be their family. Let's just get one more for Taurus. What do they want to say? Then we're going to tap into their intentions. We're going to see how you're feeling, their feeling versus your feelings. Please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. You might have blocked this person. If you have them on block or maybe you're just not like hitting them up, they are hoovering around. They want to talk to you. Uh, they want some type of communication with you. This could even be someone that maybe you stopped speaking to for a while and now they're back on the scene. I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like they want to test the waters because they do want to make this relationship work. They do want this connection to work. So they're just like, mm, 
let's kind of talk this out this could be two different energies i'm picking up as well so definitely take what resonates but let's just see their current intentions toward you this isn't anything long term this is just for right now so definitely stay tuned for more videos to check back in okay so we did get commitments um and then we did we it did fly out in reverse i don't normally read this deck in reverse so take it how it resonates commitment just might scare this person so they might be willing to work on a commitment with you or be in a relationship that leads to a commitment commitment issues might be coming up in this situation but i think overall I'm going to say, I'm going to take the high road. I think overall, yes, this person did ask you a question here. Should I move on? All right. Relationships are a lot of work. So it's like if you're giving them the cold shoulder, if you're not trying to work with them, you know, it's going to be difficult for them. You you might be dealing with someone who has avoid avoidant attachment style. Okay. Wow. They're, I don't know. I don't know, Scorpio. I'm not. Oh, don't let this person play games with you. If you caught this person out, if you caught them in a lie, if you caught them playing some type of games, then it is what it is, right? Okay, I just got a thumbs up from my angels, ancestors, and spirit guides that love me unconditionally. So I'm just saying, right? Um, but they do feel like you are their soulmate. So, yeah, they, they're going to, and I do hear that this is a little white lies. Like, they might, for example, they might tell you that they want commitment, but it's like, they don't really want commitment, commitment. They want, like, kind of commitment. You know what I'm saying? But it's the little white lies that get you in trouble, Scorpio. I'm just saying. You already know. Um, this person feels like they're your soul, soulmate. Currently, they want to make you feel like that. And judgment. They are definitely watching what you do, hearing what you say. And they're trying to adjust to the type of frequency and connection that you want to have. There are some decisions, decisions and choices that they are considering. So, yeah, that's what they're thinking about. They could be thinking about traveling to see you. They could be thinking about a home relocating starting something new because i'm noticing the symbols here in this illustration so there are some decisions and choices that they have to make regarding you now let's see let me just tap in really quick and see how are you feeling about them and then i'm gonna see how they're feeling about you And then we'll get some, okay. Well, I mean, the cards don't lie. You feel like you want things to work out. You want, you feel like this could even be your divine masculine or your divine feminine, right? Um, Gemini, Libra, Aqu Aquarius energy coming through, Cancer energy, Aries energy coming through. Could be any sign, though. I'm just saying that you kind of feel like there was something that recently happened or something that happened in the past, and you want to move forward past that, but maybe it's still in the back of your head. You want a stable relationship, and you do feel like this person has something to offer that is that you can depend on this person you also could feel insecure or you could feel intimidated by this person especially if you're seeing them as this emperor this could be like someone that you really want to be with someone that you're really into and you see this person's work ethic you see how they are and you're just like man can i can i live up to that if that's not the case then that's how this person is feeling about themselves okay so wow you do love this person you do and there's no denying it for some of you this could be new and if there's like little white lies and because we do have the seven of swords and the deception and lies so the seven of swords is usually about getting away with something right but it could also represent insecurities feeling insecure feeling inadequate in a relationship in a situation right it could also be theft hopefully nobody's stealing your shit scorpio <laughs> 
Oh, man. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's how you're feeling about them. You're being strategic about this relationship. Like, you could be really crazy about them, but you're maybe you're not showing them. Or maybe you're trying to hold back showing them how much you're into them. Because, you know, the Queen of Wands is definitely strategic okay so let's see how this person is feeling about you cancer pisces scorpio so some of you could be dealing with another scorpio let's see how they're actually feeling about you right now in your connection how are they feeling about you when they think about you when they're around you when they talk of you right how do they feel about you, Scorpio? And Scorpio, if you're single as a Pringle, let me know down in the comments, okay? But if you're watching, still watching, you definitely have someone, all right? So let's just see. Whoa, that's crazy. We got the emperor again. And we got the five of wands. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. Doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying they feel like you match their energy, period, okay? And they feel like you are, you can be pretty, like, aggressive on certain subjects, on certain things. You go after what you want. You speak your mind. And you're willing to compete for their love. So if this person was dealing with anyone else, they're seeing you coming through as the emperor. And they're seeing you coming through like, that's my man. That's my girl. Like, don't even try it. They're with me. <laughs> they like that. They actually love that about you. They love your spicy attitude but they also feel like they can depend on you okay um sometimes they feel like they don't know where they really stand with you they could feel like you're kind of secretive on a lot of things they could have some deep that was a, a spiritual what's up yes that's correct so we got the high priestess here they definitely can feel like their feelings are a lot deeper for you than they're letting on. But there's also some fear attached to this feeling when it comes to you. So them kind of like saying relationships are being single is easier. I think it's because of the vulnerability that you bring out in them. You obviously do because you're showing up to them as the emperor. OK, the emperor gets what they want all the time. So, let's just get one more and see. Um, this person definitely, if there's any distance, if you guys are, like, not around each other, this person definitely takes some time out of their day to, like, imagine you. Um, they like to pleasure themselves when they think of you. And there's something about you that really turns them on. It's like you're constantly showing them something new. You're constantly... You have a youthful spirit also. Um, you're fun. You're you're fun and exciting to be around. I just want to see some pentacles up in this reading because I'm noticing that there are no pentacles. So it's telling me that this is really based on, you know, feelings and emotions, okay? So let's see how else are they feeling about you. Okay, I did see the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see how they're feeling about you. The Six of Cups. Um, this is, you know, honestly, they feel like they met their soulmate. They feel like you could be the one. And they also feel sorry. Like, maybe they want to give you a gift or something like that. You could have known this person for a long time. The Six of Cups often talks about childhood memories, nostalgia. I could see them looking at pictures and thinking about you. I could just see them wanting to reconcile with you, too. If there has been any issues or anything came up, they want to clear the air for sure. And I'm also getting, too, with this high priestess, they kind of feel like you can read their mind. Maybe that you two have a psychic bond. Yeah, a lot of this is imaginary. A lot of this is fantasy. They fantasize about you a lot, okay? We have the 
Seven of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through again, Scorpio. And on the bottom of the deck, thank goodness, we do see the Six of Pentacles. You know, there is this need for some sort of balance. Whatever it is that you're needing from this person, I feel like they want to come through and give it to you. They want to create balance. They know that you need balance. They feel like they're being judged by that also. Like, judgment is coming up here and along with the Six of of pentacles so yeah i feel like they definitely know that they need to create some some sort of balance if you're giving too much in the connection they need to step up and give a little bit okay if you're not giving in this relationship and making them feel like it what you're doing isn't enough then they need some sort of balance so and that is in the physical like in the 3d because this represents taurus virgo capricorn the pentacles represent real-time tangible things you can taste and touch and feel and even time itself right so let's see with the the hermit tarot what are their thoughts when they're thinking about you their conscious thoughts what are they thinking about you scorpio what are they thinking when they think about you about this connection and I'm, I'm going to say this will be something that maybe they've already mentioned or they haven't told you about their thoughts, okay? So you are right, whatever that means to you. And they're trusting, they, they have learned that your intuition is on point. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and they, they have learned that... You know, you find out about things. You have a way of tapping into information and like finding out what's going on. Maybe you have a strong connection to your spirit team, right? But you are right about the timing of a situation. You're right about the connection. You're right about what you said to them, the high priestess, and you are right, okay? So if you caught them in some little white lie, then you know what I'm saying? Um yeah you were right about that you were right about a person i'm hearing also Ooh, sex with you okay so that's very obvious in this reading i'm just gonna say um they i mentioned that so they spent a lot of time thinking about that with you okay it could be deep it could be spiritual um they could even feel like they have some sort of spiritual connection to you when it comes to um, to sex so they want to have sex with you they want to have more sex with you like they enjoy it um, some of them feel like your family won't like them on the bottom of the deck let's see let's get some more that comes up a lot sometimes there's always insecurities especially if this is a past on again off again person I'm in so much pain. This person maybe haven't told you, but they could be going through some sort of emotional, turmoil, trauma in their life, and they could definitely need some sort of healing. So, and if they haven't been around you, they are in so much pain because I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. So they're in pain. They want to see you. They want to be in your energy. All right, let's get one more. They want to talk to you and... I'm hearing sexual healing. I can't. <laughs> I'm coming trust. <laughs> Virgo energy. Gemini energy coming through. Um, Aries Leo Sag. So, yeah, I do feel like uh, I am manifesting you. So, they feel like they're learning how to manifest through you. Maybe you guys talk about manifesting or law of attraction or something like that. But yeah, they just want you to know that like they think you're magical and they think you're like mystical and you have some sort of like secret powers. Okay. <laughs> right um with this high priestess that's coming through really strong for you scorpio let's get some advice from the romance angels something that you need to know right now about this connection advice concerning this connection for scorpio sun moon rising venus and mercury don't forget to press like guys it really helps me when you do that and subscribe if you feel guided to so i 
Pisces or Scorpio. Children, your love life is being affected by children. I just feel like, you know, if children are coming up, if you're having to deal with children or this person putting their children before you, that could be the case. It could be anything. It also could be the Six of Cups, but I am getting that you might want to tap into your inner child. Don't forget to nurture and nourish your inner child. Don't forget that the person you're dealing with has an inner child as well. And some of the, the situations and issues that you, that you might be dealing with in a connection could be coming stemming from some sort of childhood wounds or childhood issues, okay, that haven't healed. Maybe some of you might have like abandonment issues, right? Or codependency issues, or maybe your person does, right? Let's get one more for Scorpio. Advice. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if you feel like this person's worth being with. If you feel like being in a relationship is something you want, give it a chance. Go to some therapy. Do some breathing exercises. Meditation is dedication, okay? That's all I have for today.